Hey y'all, Meyer here. So here is the full length witness account of the people involved in the Las Vegas alien encounter of the third kind, also known as CE3. I'm not gonna do my normal spill. It is an extremely long statement from him, but you need to watch this in full. Watch now. I just want to tell you what happened to me and my family. And I know some people are not going to believe this, but each person is different. So this is what happened to me. Keep in mind, this is midnight and I'm fixing a truck in my backyard. At this point, I'm only with my brother and I hear something fall from the sky. I turn around. The only thing I, I see is a big light falling from the sky. And moments after, I feel a big impact and a, and a bang, sort of like a big impact fall. And me and my brother looked at each other and we were scared, but the, but when the impact happened, it was sort of like a shock wave, like an out of body experience. So to say, when I tried to look at the object, it was all blurry, not my vision, but only the backyard area. And I hear thousands of footsteps around me and maybe a couple of seconds later, the blurriness was gone. And here's, here's the footage of the body the police officer's body cam and here's the object I'm the object I'm referring to the light video here's a ring camera video you can hear the bang this is around the neighborhood so here's the video So when that happened, the only thing I can see in the backyard is a tall creature, probably around eight, 10 feet tall, very thin. So I called my dad, he went to the backyard and he saw the same thing, the same creature I saw. He told me to go inside the house. At this point, we all freaking out, me and my family. And here's the video where we were in the backyard area. You can see, you cannot see it too good, but on camera, but it's there. Here's the video. ¡Ay! ¡Permisar! ¡Calmugarela, me canciles bar eso! ¡Cáelo, cherro, que chitica! ¡Cáelo, cherro! Moments after the video, me and my brother went to go pick up my tools. Then my brother calls me, and he told, he told me shakingly, look behind the forklift. So I look. Keep in mind, I'm facing the forklift, and then I see the alien creature. So when I saw it, it was a tall, skinny, lengthy creature. He was a gray, greenish color. And when I looked at it in the eyes, my body just froze. Like the same way, the same experience as having sleep paralysis. Keep in mind, I'm staring at him and I look at his whole body and he has a weird looking feet and a big face and eyes and you can see a big mouth. And, and I, I could hear his loud, deep breathing, and I could see his stomach moving. He would just stare at me. Seconds later, I could start moving again. And I start running towards the house. That's when I call 911, and here's a 911 call. There's like an eight foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so used to terrify it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Okay. Like, like, I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes, and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. Okay. I'm waiting for the police to come and you could hear footsteps in the backyard area and a loud whispering like you could hear whisperings. We were in we were in the living room area and you could hear you could hear footsteps on the roof. So we waited a little bit for the police. When they arrived, they told me what I told them what I saw and they were kind of freaked out. 
Here's the body cam of the officer. Right now, mm -hmm. it's more than an hour yeah, after that see? bright light. Oh, officers meeting see? up with the caller yeah, and his hard. family. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long testy top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything yeah, land see. in your backyard? Or they see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Well, police this. walk into I the backyard to investigate, but Metro. Scared, so. So they went in the backyard and one of the officers pointed at the floor and it was a perfect circle. Here's a photo of the circle I'm referring to. Keep in mind, two officers came in my house and one of them started running to his car, driving around the neighborhood, asking passing cars at the saw light. What's clear, they're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yes. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. Goosebumps are freaking out. He started investigating that he told me his partner, she saw a light falling from the sky. He told me he believes me because her partner reported that she saw the same light as me. Now we're walking the front yard then the other officer came here. Here's a video of him talking to my family. It does. It does. Nine foot beings come back. Don't call us. All right. Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> so, moments before they left, one of the officers told me, "If I see the thing again, to don't call him, just shoot him." And you can hear in the video. Here's the video. If those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> so they left, and we went inside the house, and we started praying. As we're praying, you can hear a loud human-like scream in the backyard. This is what happened to me on May 1st, 2023. I hope you guys kind of understand what happened to me. I know it's hard to believe, but I saw what I saw, and it's kind of going viral. That's why I'm here to explain the story. I did an interview with journalist Doc Papa. I'm going to put his video in the description. I'm going to make a part two of the stuff that happened after May 1st. And thank you for watching.